back working on the 2010 Honda Accord and this is the one that I put the temporary fuse in to get it cranked up and running and it's got the battery disconnect switch on the negative battery post which makes it very easy to tie in a meter to check for a battery drain and currently we got a three quarter amp or 740 milliamp drain and we're going to wait probably an hour and see if that goes away and then we'll tackle it from there okay i traced the drain down to this fuse here it's labeled backup and if you remove the fuse the drain goes down to nearly zero i'm going to remove that fuse and we go down to a 70 milliamp 60 milliamp, 40, 20 milliamp draw, which is more than acceptable. I did a little bit of research on it and found out that the driver's door lock switch is a culprit in many cases. And I came over here and that thing is askew. So I'm going to try sticking the key in there. and turning it back straight which it will not do we may not have the right keys yep I believe that's going to be the problem so now I've got to get with the customer and find out if they want me to actually fix what's wrong with that driver's door I was able to use a medium or actually fairly large size screwdriver, stick it in the lock cylinder and turn it back to the left and it went back to the straight up and down position and after doing that I came back over to the multimeter and saw that it only had a 10 milliamp draw so it turned that switch off in the door and now we just got to decide if the customer wants to actually fix the, the faulty lock cylinder or not. Well, everything checks out so far, so I'm going to go ahead and change out this inline fuse holder I put in. And put the factory fuse back in there. Now I'm going to get this brand new Honda fuse and put it in there. And this has got that little tail that goes down in there. And it's got a clip right here on the end, a locking clip on the end, and one on the side that holds this thing in place. So we're going to try and get it lined up in there. Yeah, ain't that something? Okay, that little tail has got to angle back this way, and then it drops in the slot, goes in, make sure those little two little clips come across. Get it started with the screwdriver. We've come too far now to mess anything up. Now we'll finish tightening it down. And looking at this, I noticed that it has a real heavy arc marked right there. And a pretty good chance that when that happened, it blew that fuse. Now all you got to do now is take this off, take that off, clean it all up, tighten it up, and we should be good to go. Well, there it is all back together. Alternator's charging, battery's not going dead, cranks up. The only thing they got to worry about is fixing the driver's door lock cylinder.
And I guess they'll decide that when they get back from vacation. Sparky out.